All right, so it says shown below is a solid cuboid, right? And it's a work out the volume of the cuboid. As you say, guys, volume is the area of the base by the height times the height. So area of base for all volume, that's what we do. Find the area of the base and then we times it by the height. So we can identify the base as what it sits on. So once you have the area for the base, then we can actually find the volume. So area for the base would be nine centimeter. It's a rectangle, right? So it is nine centimeter by two which would give us 18 centimeters square. So that's the area, that's the first part. So what it means actually, you know, you see on the ground floor, it's gonna be 18 of them, but we're gonna have three stacks of 18. So we are gonna have 18 cubes here, so then we have another 18, and then for the last one, another 18. That's what it means, you know. So we times it by the height, which is three centimeter. And of course, 3 times 18, 3, 8 is 24, right? 2, 34, 3, 1 is 3, and that 5. So that's 54. What's the unit? Cm cube. Not area because it's the volume. How much space it occupies. So that would be 54 cm cube. All right, so you just find the area for the base and then times it by the height. And the height tells us how many stocks you have. So on the, the, when you pack out the cubes, then you'll get 18 of them, right? And then, of course, we times it by three. I could do one more, guys. We have 15 minutes. I could do one more. No. All right, let's find the volume. So we have the length being five, the width three, and the height three. So we find the area for the base. Now we know that the base is what it's basically sitting on, right? So it would be five by three. So it's five centimeter by three centimeter, which would give us 15 centimeters square. However, we have to times it by the height. So the height is three again, so we have to times it by three. And of course, 3 times 15 will be 45 cm cube. So the volume would be 45 cm cube. All right. Let's see if we can do another one and before class end. Probably two, you know, guys, probably two. All right. So we're asked to find the volume where. Length is 11. So it have a square base, right? And this is 11. So what we do, we multiply 11 by 11 to give us the area for the base. And of course, that will be 121 centimeters square. But then we times it by 7, right? 717, 72 is 14, square carry 1, 717, plus that 8. So it's 847 cm cube. Let's see if we can do another one. Yeah, have fun with this, guys. <laughs> What's the volume for this one? The length is 4.2 centimeters. The width is 1.8 centimeters. And the height is 2.5 centimeters. Anybody watch it on YouTube, see if you can type in the answer first huh? before anybody else. If you know where you're this, man. No, too late. Too late. <laughs> um, 
I finished first. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. I did. I did. No. I 100 percent finished first. She's pushing me. I finished first. I definitely No, I definitely and I finished said, first. And she's pushing me. She's pushing me. Pushing I finished you. first. I finished I'm first. Pushing you. I don't know why you're talking. Oh my god. All right, let's go. Let's see what cool. you guys did. Get off me. I'm not but guys, now if you get separate phone, you know, because then I don't want to it again. My mom's phone is unavailable right now. All right. So, guys, take your time, man. It's just phone you have, you know. <laughs> yeah, I need. Come, come get it. Did you know you made that? No, I made that. I All right, so this one is a decimal, a little bit different, but guess what? Same principle, right? 4.2 times 1.8. Now, when you want to multiply in decimal, you can ignore the decimal point. So instead of multiplying by 1.8, we just multiply by this 18 and 42, and then we drop in by the decimal. 82, 16, 6 carry 1, 84 is 32, plus 1, 33. Put a zero because they are multiplied by 10. 1, 2, 2, 1, 4, 4. This two is 6, 5, 7. So we have 756. But we need to multiply by the 2.5. So we're just going to do it same time. Multiply by 25. 5, 6, 30. 3 carry 0. 5, 5, 25. This was 3, right? 5, 5, 25 plus 3, 28. 5, 7, 35, plus 2, 37. Something all right, man. Something all right. All right, so put the 0 to all the space now. 2, 6 is 12. 2, carry the 1. 2, 5, 10, and 1, 11. So 1 is right. 2, 7, 14, and 1, 15. Add now, this is 0. 8 and 2, 10, carry 1. One, two, eight, nine, eight, one. But remember, we are three decimal places at the start, right? So our answer should have three decimal places. So one, two, three. So it's 18.90 cm cube. Most of you gave me this. This is correct, guys. I just put on the zero, but it's correct. Both of them is the same. Good job, good job. And now, the final one for today. 7 by 5 by 3. Find that one, guys. Find the volume. Never mind. All right, so we say, a cube body is shown. Find the volume, right? So we have 3 here, 7 here, and 5 here. So the area for the base would be 7 centimeters by 3 centimeters, see there, which is 3 base. All right, so 7 by 3, which is 21 centimeters square, but we have to times it by the height, which is 5. And of course, 5 times 1 is 5, and 5 to 10. So it's 105 cm cube. All right. So, guys, great job, great job. We start late, but we end late. That's how you go. So, guys, see you guys next week. All right. Great job. We're going to look for um total surface area next year, next week. And that is different from the volume, which is finding the area of all the faces. All right. So okay. Yeah. Bye, Kali, and take care. Thanks for waiting, Bye. Brian. Bye. Bye. You're welcome. Yeah. Goodbye. Bye. Take care. Bye, Heidi. Take care. So we get your voice right, Heidi. <laughs> Bye. Have a good weekend. Thanks, Ailey. You as well. All right. Let me stop the recording. You know. We go observe the picture. We'll find it on. We'll end the recording. Walk on, walk on, walk on.